We really believe in two things. One is sustainable development is extremely important on the global scale, and two, that Georgia can be at the forefront on that and we can really be an example of a country in sustainable development. Uh, we are actually uh, developing a green strategy right now, and by the end of this year we'll have a new Green Georgia strategy, which basically encompasses in itself uh, green tourism, uh, organic farming, uh, sustainable alternative energy sources, and so forth. Everything that um, that the next generation needs. Well, of course, the thing about Georgia is is that it's well known for its wonderful food and its incredible hospitality. So that's something that's part of the tourism thing as far as Absolutely. Well Actually, we find that a lot of times people ask me, why would I come to Georgia um, and not to another country in the region? Or uh, there's so many tourism markets in the world, and it's so easy to travel nowadays from one location to another. And I say the real um, uh, difference that we have in Georgia is our people. When you come to Georgia, you meet probably one of the most hospitable people, people that want you to be there, people that want you to share the food with you, people that want to share their culture with you, their music with you, their um, entertainment with you, everything that they do on a daily basis. And I can tell you that every single person that I've met in Georgia, a foreigner, a tourists that have come to Georgia, has always come back. And that's our best advertisement, is that, that people that go and come back on a, on a yearly basis. And that's really an important thing about green tourism, isn't it? That you get people that come back again and again and again. So they have a relationship with the destination. Absolutely, absolutely. And they're our advertisement. They're the ones that go back to their countries and say that not only we had a good time in Georgia and we've been met by these hospitable people, but we have also seen how this small country is trying to preserve its nature, how it's trying to preserve and build the right way and then the, 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 and it tries to be an example for, for all the countries in the region and the world. Because yes, we're a small country and it's easier for us to be the sustainable country, but at the same time, we're an emerging country and, and in a way it's easier, but also it's tougher for us. Well, if you had a vision for tourism and economic and sustainable development in Georgia in five years' time, what would it be? Uh, the vision would be, you know, uh, back in the days uh, during the Soviet Union, Georgia was one of the uh, most popular destinations uh, in that region. We had about 7 million tourists. When I say that I want to go back to those numbers, it doesn't mean that I want to go back to the nature that we had at that time. So the tourists were different. Now I really want to create an environment in Georgia where people come, they enjoy the time that they spend there, and they go back to their you know, home country or the home city, and they learn something and they take something back with them. And, and they tell the, the people around them that there is a country in the middle of, you know, in the middle of the world that is most of the time is unknown because we have a small population where only four and a half million, but it's very unique. And in order for it to be still around in 100 years, in order for it to be still around in a thousand years, we, the population of the world, should try to preserve it and to make sure that it is as green and sustainable as it is today. Now, one thing, of course, that you've got as a real understanding is the fact that as a Minister for Sustainable and Economic Development mm -hmm. is that you recognise that just tourism numbers are not really relevant. It's benefits to the economy that count. Absolutely. And that's exactly the point that was discussed today at the session, uh, the ministerial session at the UNWTO. And um, the main point what, that was raised uh, today at the session was that we should stop counting the tourism by numbers, we should stop saying that we've had 1,000 tourists this year or 10,000 or 1 million, we should start really looking at the numbers differently of who are the tourists, uh, what were the economic benefits, how is that related to economy as a whole, because um, uh, another point that was raised at this session is that oftentimes with tourism, even though it's one, sometimes one of the biggest uh, additions to the GDP, it's often uh, referred to as a second scale, let's say, sector. So I think it's important that we um, make sure that um, it is at the forefront and it's one of the main sectors that we're talking about.